hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today we are just gonna do a shop my stash we're gonna go and look through my makeup products and we're gonna choose items that we're gonna use for about two weeks um first off is gonna be foundations right over here but we're gonna choose one item from each category so if you're interested in that keep on watching All right, so I have all my foundations right in here. I have a bunch of them, as you can see. Um, and today we're gonna choose one or two for um, the next two weeks. Let me see what I have. I love this foundation right here, but I, I have two of them, but I'm not gonna, not gonna go in those because they're not open yet. So I'm thinking this two weeks i might give this one another chance this one oxidates on me a lot and i don't know i'm just hoping it's gonna be just a little bit better um on me and we'll see i think it also kind of broke me out a little bit but we will see this is cool af from uh, pretty vulgar and i have it in the shade 01b5 or 62 full frontal so we're gonna have this one as one of the choices now this foundation is from smashbox i'm not a big fan of this one i'm not sure if i want to put that in i know it's gonna be like i should put one in that i like and one that i'm not 100 percent sure this one is from cookie i kind of like this one it's a nice one especially if you put it with a little bit of a moisturizing uh, primer underneath that will be a nice one this one i haven't played that much with this is from flower beauty this is light illusion and you know what i think i'm just gonna give this one another chance i have mine do i know what I have mine in Saddle D1, so I'm just going to go with this one. In here I have many others. Um, I have Born This Way from Too Fakes. I have Tarte in this one. It is the Found Sealer. I have uh, this one from Revolution Pro. I have these ones from Becca, which... I am almost done with this one. Um, I am just so happy to see that I've used it up so much, but I am almost done with this one. Also, this one is pretty, pretty done as well, but still have a little bit of ways to go. And then I have a few lighter ones, which I don't know. I might have to declutter this one from Physicians Formula. I don't like. I don't like it that much. Um, this one from Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid. It's not a bad foundation, actually. Maybe I should put this one, too. Let me add this one in as well, because this one is getting a little bit old, and I should start using it up just a little bit more. But, yeah, we're going to do this one as well. Makeup Forever, I'm not a big fan of that one. And then, oh, this one is actually, um, primer shouldn't be here. And then I do have this one from The Balm, which is a little dry on me. But yeah, this is what we're going to go for this week. We're just going to go with Pretty Vulgar um, Cool IF. Um, and then we're going to go with Flower Beauty Light Illusion. And we're going to go with Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid. Alright, so now let's choose what primer we're going to use. I just like to choose my foundations first and then I can choose the primer so I know what will work well with these, right? And this is a primer as well. So let's see what is going to go well with this. I think I'm going to have to go with this one. This one is from Pretty Vulgar and this one is supposed to go really well with that um foundation when i tried them together i didn't like them that much but i'm gonna give it another try and see how they go and this one is actually called detox and chill 
and um, we'll see how this is gonna go I am I'm kind of interested to see I think I used it with a different foundation it was much better than when I used it with this foundation but we will try it so that's one of them and then I want to go uh, in with this one from elf because I still have a bunch of it left this is poreless body primer and I think this is gonna go well with the other two foundations so I'm gonna just gonna go with this one as well now for concealer I do not have that many concealers left I actually used up three yes three of my concealers and now I only have just a few and I'm glad about that you know I have this one that is from the balm that is a concealer i actually do like this one a lot i tried it once or twice but that was it and then i have this one from kkw which i'm almost almost done with which i'm really really happy about and then i do have these two right here that are from elf this one is the camo concealer this is the 16 hour one which is really really drying um, and then I have this one which is the hydrating camo concealer which I really like and then I have this one from revolution this one is actually called the conceal and fix this is more for like blemishes and things but I did put it under my eyes and it did work well now I don't know if I would recommend necessarily to do that because this one has salicylic acid with it but it is really nice so I might actually put this one aside because you know when you're wearing a face mask sometimes you do get some um, those nasty zits so this will be nice to actually cover up with so I'm gonna put this one aside that will be one of them and of course I have this one from um, Too Faced Born This Way I have not opened this one I have not tried it yet I don't know how this one is I heard a lot of people that actually do love this concealer but I do not want to open this one when I do have these other ones that are already open and I'm thinking because that one is a little bit like a heavier concealer I'm thinking to go in with the elf one and I'm just gonna go with the camel concealer and play with this a little bit more and see how this is gonna be And now to my favorite part, right? I love powders and I have a lot of powders for sure that I um, actually use a lot. And actually, I, I want to show you this one. I did hit pan on the all-nighter because I have used it a lot during this, this period because we have to wear the freaking mask and look at that big big pan in there I'm almost done with it and then I was thinking I definitely need to use something else I've been using that for like months now and then I use this one a lot from Revolution Pro as well oops and then I use this a lot from Revolution Pro as well sorry I just busted with my fingers but yeah you can see the big pan in this one as well so i'm definitely thinking it's time to try something else i've been using these two a lot as well like this one from fit me this one is in medium in light medium and usually i use this one for to set my under eyes you know and I still have a bunch of it in here and then I have this one which is in medium and this as well I do have a bunch of it in here and this one I use it to set my entire face with well I think it's time to try something new uh, I have used this one too a lot from Derma Blend, but I feel like we need to change it up a little bit and also this one it is a brightening powder from KKW we have this one from KKW too which I'm not a big fan of but we're gonna give it another go maybe it's gonna work much better with that concealer the, the elf concealer so I'm gonna put this one in to use it for under eyes and then for setting my face I'm thinking to go with this one diamond powder 
and medium dip from Winky Lux. This is actually a really nice one. And this is how this one looks like. I'm definitely, I think it's gonna look really nice and I'm just gonna use this one for the next two weeks. And I'm thinking just to have, just in case I need something a little bit lighter because this one is pretty, pretty dark I would say. I'm gonna choose this one, Sexy Mama from The Balm because this one is a translucent one. And this is how this one looks inside. So I'm gonna use this one as well. So we're gonna have all of these together. All right, so here we go. Let's see, let's choose a bronzer for these two weeks. I have not played that much with this one from Natasha Denona. I haven't liked it that much when I actually did try it. This one I really liked and I used a lot. Fenty Beauty I used a lot too. I think I'm gonna go with this one from Natasha Denona, the bronze and glow. And another one I'm just gonna go with Ulta Beauty, the matte bronzer as well. This one I absolutely love. This one I haven't opened yet. But now for the blush. Hmm, this is gonna be hard. Okay, so I have not opened this one yet. And I actually do want to try it. So we're gonna open this one from Malmé. And then I'm thinking to go with this one from Colourpop. I really, really love this one as well. So we're going to go with these two. Now highlighters are very hard to choose because I don't wear them that much. And I do have a bunch of them. I think I'm just going to go with Ofra Cosmetics. And I am probably, actually, you know what... I do have this one that I have not used at all from Hourglass. Should I use this one? We're going to go with this one and then I'm just going to use one from Ofra. We're going to go with Rodeo Drive. Alright, so now let's go with mascara. We'll see what I'm going to choose for this week. I do have a lot of mascaras that I have open. No, it's not good, but I'm trying to use as much as I can. So I'm going to choose this one right here because I don't like this one that much. So I'm going to try and see if I still don't like it. I'm just probably um, use it as much as I can these two weeks and then declutter it. If I don't, I still don't like it at the end of these two weeks. And then I want to give it... Um, I'm gonna get this one because this one I don't like as well for the top lashes but I do like it for the bottom lashes and I, I do want to use it as much as I can from this so we're gonna get this one too and then I'm thinking uh, which one should it be another one hmm this is hard okay we're gonna go with this one we're gonna go with Tarte's from Tarte and we'll try these three this week and then from here I do have a few eyeliners I do have a bunch of them downstairs that I just keep to have on hand but I do want to add this one to the ones that I do have downstairs because this is a blue one and it's from uh, L'Oreal this is infallible long wear eye pencil now for lips, I have here just a few liners. I do have more downstairs, but I want to go with something that I don't usually go for. So I'm going to go with this one right here. I haven't tried this one at all. This is from Fine, the lip liner. And this is kind of like a nice, beautiful, pinkish nude. So we're going to go with this one. Now for my lips, it's insane how much I have. I uh, have way, 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 way too much. Way too much. Like, look, there's, there's just piles over piles over piles of lip products. So I definitely am not 
gonna buy lip products for a very very long time from now on and i think i'm just gonna go with this one i have never opened this one yet and this is from morphe this is a red lipstick and this is called steamy this is one that uh jacqueline here really talked about for a long time and then i'm thinking let's go with this one from too faced the melted chocolate one and another one let's just try one more from here hmm Should, which one is this one oh yeah let's let's go with this one this one is from sugary or which one was it this one is from sugary cosmetics and it is in cherry yep we'll go with these all right so right here i have some of my palettes that are like either 10 pan palettes or under I have a bunch of videos that I want to make with these and I want to rate them all I want to see which one is better than other and I'm gonna make them 10 pan 9 pan and rating my 10 pan my 9 pan my 8 pan and also rating everything that is under 6 pan palettes so i have a bunch of them over here as you can see i have lots 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 of them but i do have a few that i have not tried yet so i'm gonna put these in my the two weeks so i can try them and come up with an idea of how they perform first of all i'm gonna go with this one this is drama queen from bra bar and we're gonna try this one for sure and see how it's gonna perform and then i'm gonna try this one as well i have not played with this one at all this is violet Voss essentials the pro series ones so we're gonna try that one too another one that we're gonna try and play a little bit more with are gonna be these two right here from revolution pro this is the pink one and this is the green one i'm gonna try those two um this is alamar i really love this one i don't need to try it that much i actually played with it a little bit last week and i think those two are gonna be it for now i maybe i'm gonna try this one as well actually i want to try this one as well i really love the mats in this one but i want to try the shimmers and we're gonna try this one as well and that's that's what basically it's gonna be now for facial sprays i only have four of them i'm gonna do this one this week and then also i'm gonna do this one from jura cosmetics and this one is from milani make it last right, so let's do a quick recap over here what we have so we're gonna start with we're gonna have this one from Freddy vulgar this is detox and chill um primer and the other primer we have this one from elf this is poreless body primer and as you can see i have used a lot from this one it did hit in but i do want to use it up as much as i can so these are the swatches of the three foundations that i do have out <laughs> which is so insane because none of them match me they're all different colors so this one, the first one right here on the left side, it is pretty vulgar. We have in the middle, we have Flower Beauty, and then in this one, it is Dream Radiant. I think Dream Radiant is gonna be the closest one, but yeah, these are the three foundations. And these are the two concealers for these two weeks. This is the this one right here is gonna be the revolution conceal and fix and then the other one is this one from elf which is the hydrating camo concealer and he and here are the three powders that i decided to go with this is the kkw which is you can see it's pretty pretty light in here and then we have the sexy mama from the balm and then we have the winky luxe what is this called diamond powder 
in medium deep. Alright, so for the blush, I went with these two. I did try to swatch them a little bit on my hand. This one right here is more pinkish mauve look. And this one has more like that orange burnt look over here. So for bronzer and highlighter, we're going to go with this one right here. And this one from Ulta. I have tried this one. I actually do like that one a lot. And I think that one I can actually contour. And then I can go in with this one the warm bronzer from uh, Natasha Denona. As for highlighters, I have three over here. The Natasha Denona, which is the one all the way at the bottom. The one on the side is the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. And the one on the top, it is this one from Ofra Cosmetics, which is in Star Island. Oh, this is in Rodeo Drive. Next, we have lip brow and eyes that one right there the pink one it is this one from find this is the lip liner i really like how it swatches in the color um this is the blue eyeliner that i uh, wanted to add and that is the um eyebrow pencil which is this one micro pencil from Micro Precise Pencil from Essence and then I do have this one that is gonna go on top this is clear from uh, Blink this is a uh, eyebrow mousse gel and then for lipsticks the top one it is the one from uh, Sugary Cosmetics in Cherry and then the middle one it is this one steamy from morphe and then the one at the bottom it is this one from melted chocolate from um, Too Faced. and then of course we have the mascaras we have tartiste from Tarte. we have anastasia beverly hills this is the i think lash brag that's what it's called yes lash brag and then we also have the Mile High Club from Wonder Beauty. For setting spray, we're gonna have Hydrating Facial Mist from Dura Cosmetics and uh, Milani Make It Last Matte Finish, 16 hours. The eyeshadow palettes, this is what we're gonna work with, the Revolutions one. We have here this one from um, Zoeva, I absolutely love the look of this palette. We have this one, Brow Bar by Rima, Drama Queen, and the Violet Voss one. So this is pretty much what we're going to have to work with this week. And we'll, these two weeks, because we're going to keep it for two weeks. And we'll see how it's going to go from there. Let me know which one do you like from here, what products do you actually have from here, and uh, which products are you interested, how they performed, and of course I will get to let you know about every single one of them at the end of these two weeks. But thank you so much for watching and being here with me, and uh, wish me luck with this uh, first Shop My Stash series because uh, there's a lot more to come. Make sure to be subscribed, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and uh, I hope every single one of you stays safe, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.